If you're a student looking to speed up your learning process, get the best grades you can, and make use of the new technologies available on the internet, here are seven AI tools that you can use. Number one is otter.ai. What Otter does is it transcribes audio or speech into text. So you can turn it on during a lecture and it will actually take notes for you. You can also record the lecture as an MP3 and upload it to Otter and it will transcribe it. Much like it is transcribing everything that I am saying right now. I am a genius. Uh, whoops. So the other really cool use for Otter is that if you want to get a first draft of an essay out, you can talk into your phone for a few minutes and it will transcribe it. You can then take that text and use it as the first edition of your essay. Once you're done speaking into Otto, you can press stop recording and it will save the conversation you've had as a new note. From here, you can copy and paste all the text that you like. The next tool I'm going to introduce you to is Grammarly. So you can take the text that you've generated with Otter and then you can use Grammarly to start editing that text using AI. First, it will suggest some simple grammatical errors that you can correct. Then it will start to improve your writing by removing redundant words such as actually, which is not needed. It can suggest rewriting things for clarity such as moving words into different sentences. And it offers you synonyms when you're repeatedly using the same word over and over. Another interesting thing is you can understand how Grammarly interprets the emotions of what you're writing. So it's telling me here that it's fairly neutral, which I'm going to accept. Next up is speechify.com. Now this essentially does the opposite to what Otter does. And it takes text and it reads it out for you using a computerized voice. Now this is especially good if you have a long textbook that you need to review and you want to save time. So you can put that into Speechify and it will read it out to you whilst you're working out on the bus, whatever you're doing. It's especially good if you prefer to listen than to read. Next up is Quillbot and this is an AI powered summarizer. So you can put a long paragraph into it and it will pull out the key point. I've put in my summary of what Otter does and it has distilled it down even further to you can put Otter on during a lecture and it will take all the notes you need for the entire lecture. This is great if you have recorded a lecture and then you want to pull out those key points so you can really save time and distill a broad amount of information into the most salient information. Coming in at number five is Yasper.ai. This is a AI writing tool. It is a fantastically intelligent tool and you can use it for writing essays. Essentially, it's been designed to create blog posts, but there's nothing different from a blog post and an essay. It's fantastically good at writing paragraph length topics. So what you can do is write in a topic here, which is we're going to give it, um, let's give it how to use AI to learn faster. I'm even going to leave the other fields blank just to show you how powerful this is but you can add keywords that you might want to use and choose the tone of voice. Then let's have a look at what it's come out with. One way to use AI to learn faster is by using a spaced repetition algorithm. <laughs> we'll come onto this a little bit later. This type of algorithm can be used to help you review information at strategic intervals so that you can better retain the material. For example, if you're using a flashcard app to study for a test, the app can track which cards you're struggling with and present them to you more frequently. In addition to using a spaced repetition algorithm, you can use AI to create customized learning experiences. So you can see that Jasper can create fantastic text and save you a lot of time writing essays. Another option for a AI writer is writer.me. It's slightly easier to use, but it doesn't create such comprehensive content. The next app I'm going to talk about is Anki, which is a artificially intelligent flashcard app that helps you memorize the information that you're looking to learn. I've been using Anki to learn Portuguese as I'm off to Brazil in a couple of weeks. Aha! Uh, and so what you do is you, are, you create flashcards for yourself with information that you're trying to learn. So what is really cool about Anki is that it uses a spaced repetition system so that it only shows you the cards that you know the least well. If you know a card, it won't show it to you. 
which is fantastically useful for having this training mechanism to really push your abilities to retain information more quickly. It's also very fun and I highly recommend it for a lot of different use cases from learning languages to learning geographical elements to even learning, learning chords for music. I'll show you how it works here for how I've got it set up. So I have the Portuguese word, which is my, and in my mind, I have to imagine what does that mean in English or what does it actually mean? And I'm pretty sure that means mother. And on the other side, I've got a answer in a visual format. So I'm not using any English here so that I'm linking the concept of mother to my rather than the English word mother to my. This helps uh, to become fluent quicker. I'm going to put it easy. Next one is Mulheres consiguem trabalha te filhos e construa uma família, which means uh, women can work, have children, and construct a family. And here we have uh, a picture of a woman working and having a family. Mao is hand, hand, and there it is, hand. Uh, Desculpa, mas não concordo. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that is. I think it's, excuse me, uh, I do not agree, which I think is right. So I'm going to put it easy. And then what's really cool about Anki is it will display uh, in this bar chart uh, how well you're doing with your flashcards. So you can see if you've mastered this topic yet. I'm also learning uh, the world capitals and uh, other things to do with languages such as the Bulgarian Cyrillic alphabet. Our final tool is DALI 2, which is an artificially intelligent text to image generator, meaning you can give it a prompt and it will spit out an image related to that. What's really cool for this is that you can use it for creating flashcards. So if you're looking to visualize some piece of information, you can generate these images. At the moment, uh, it's just being released to beta users, but you can join this Discord feed for $10 and get 200 image credits. I'll give you a few examples of some of the things that people have created with it. So the prompt for this beautiful image here was Thor in gold and red, ornate armor with gold wings, lightning around the hands and eyes, levitating. And you can also use these images in presentation and anything else that can help you learn creatively. And there we have it. There are some useful tools for learning with artificial intelligence. The key thing to remember here is understanding how you learn best and creating a learning experience that fits with that. It took me a long time to recognize that I am an audio learner and that it's much better for me to listen than to read. It's also super useful to learn how to use flashcards effectively and tie different pieces of information to other meanings of that information. So if you can connect a concept with a noise, a sound, uh, a visualization, an experience of that, uh, you're going to remember it much more effectively and also integrate it more deeply into your consciousness. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not stick around and check out a few more videos about AI and other cool things you can do on the internet. Uh, have a delightful day. I will be a genius. Ah! I am a genius. <laughs>